Breathing is the process that keeps us alive every second of the day. With each inhale, fresh air flows through the nose and mouth, carrying oxygen the body needs, and with every exhale, waste carbon dioxide is released. As air enters the nasal cavity, it is filtered, warmed, and humidified. Tiny hairs trap dust, mucus catches microbes, and fine cilia wave upward to keep the airways clean. From here, the air passes through the pharynx. The epiglottis acts like a small protective gate, closing briefly when we swallow to block food, then opening again to guide air safely into the larynx. The air moves down the trachea, a sturdy tube supported by cartilage rings, and then divides into the left and right bronchi. Each passage directs airflow deep into the lungs. Inside the lungs, the bronchi split into smaller and smaller bronchioles, ending in clusters of delicate sacs called alveoli. These tiny air balloons are the true site of gas exchange. Each alveolus is lined with thin cells and coated with surfactant, preventing collapse and keeping breathing smooth. Immune cells patrol here, protecting the lungs from harmful invaders. When the diaphragm contracts downward and the rib cage expands outward, air is drawn into the lungs. This is the process of inhalation, powered by negative pressure. When the diaphragm relaxes and springs upward, the lungs shrink back and air flows out. During forceful breathing, abdominal muscles help push carbon dioxide out faster. Inside the alveoli, oxygen molecules pass across the thin wall into surrounding capillaries. At the same time, carbon dioxide moves from the blood into the alveoli, ready to be exhaled. Red blood cells then pick up oxygen, hemoglobin proteins bind oxygen molecules, turning the cells bright red and ready to deliver this life-giving gas to the entire body. Meanwhile, carbon dioxide produced in tissues is carried back in three ways, dissolved in plasma, bound to hemoglobin, or converted into bicarbonate by carbonic anhydrase. In pulmonary circulation, blue deoxygenated blood flows into the lungs through pulmonary arteries, becomes rich with oxygen, and returns bright red to the heart through pulmonary veins. At the tissues, oxygen leaves red blood cells and enters muscle cells, fueling mitochondria to make ATP, while carbon dioxide flows back into the blood to be carried away. Rising carbon dioxide in the blood is detected by chemoreceptors, which send signals to the brainstem. The respiratory center then adjusts the rate of breathing to match the body's needs. From birth to the final moment of life, this continuous cycle of breathing, gas exchange, and transport sustains us. The respiratory system is a masterpiece of design, fueling every thought, every heartbeat, and every movement we make.